Carefully remove the resin pack from the outer aluminium pack. Check packaging for precautions and remove end caps if fitted. Remove the center clip separating the resin and hardener by holding the pack at each end and pulling outwards gently until the clip springs off, forming one complete bag. Gripping the ends of the pack, manipulate the resin pack vigorously with a circular motion for at least two minutes. Place the resin pack on a smooth, flat surface and, using the center section of the removed clip, scrape any unused resin or hardener from each corner of the pack into the center. Manipulate the resin pack in your hands for a further one minute or until uniform. Repeat operation three. In rare cases where long-term storage has resulted in sedimentation of the resin, it may be necessary to continue mixing for a longer period. Remove the aerosol from the glass product container. Place the resin pack in the palm of one hand Cut off a small corner of the tapered end of the resin pack and use the pressure of the other hand to dispense all of the mixed material into the glass product container. To stop the flow, release any pressure and invert the bag. Open the jar of thinner and pour all of the liquid into the glass product container. Screw the product container cap onto the jar and shake the contents for at least 30 seconds. Check visually that the material appears homogeneous, the bubbles are normal. Shake for longer if required. Allow the material to stand until all of the bubbles have reached the surface and burst. This should take less than 10 minutes. Do not leave to stand for longer than 15 minutes. If the bottom of the dip tube is below any bubbles remaining once assembled, it is acceptable to continue. Ensure the dip tube is secure on the aerosol can. Remove the product container cap and screw the container onto the aerosol by turning clockwise. Spray some material on a piece of scrap and allow sufficient time to allow the product to flow up through the dip tube and through the actuator nozzle on the sprayer. Spray onto the substrate using slow, overlapping passes. Ensure that the sprayer is between a 90 degree and a 45 degree angle above the horizontal or the product will not work.